My name is Bonfesso Weno, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. A lot has happened throughout the week, and we have come to its end, whereby uh, people are resting for a weekend. Today is Saturday. But uh, just a brief of what has happened, starting from Tuesday, that is Tuesday, then uh, people rested on Wednesday. In fact, there was no rest. Uh, Tuesday was Nairobi, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday was Mombasa. Then again, Thursday was the whole, now Thursday was the whole country. And then yesterday, Eric Omondi was arrested. Something like so. There have been no rest throughout the week. And uh, I've listened to Chiringei, Samson Chiringei speaking, and I thought that maybe this is one of the people. Maybe this is one of the one of the one one of the people that have got a lot of uh, some, something like a brain. Or uh, I thought that maybe Samson Chiringei, that is a senator from Nandi. Was uh, he was thinking different from uh, from other Kenya Kwanza leaders or Kenya Kwanza politicians? But I've come to realize that uh, he's more is just the same. There is no difference between him and uh, Kimani Chungwa, even though he was attacking Kimani Chungwa, uh, saying that Kimani Chungwa must be impeached from becoming the the majority leader. But uh, I've realized that they are they are just the same. You know, there is no way you can say that uh, Raila Molodinga organized uh, this protest. This is something that uh, these people decided to do by themselves. In fact, there, there is no any politician who got involved in this. Every, everyone was silent. Okay. I want us to imagine that Raila Muludinga ordered now these men to come out, the, order the, 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 the demonstration. I want us to take a look at the demonstration that, that has always been ordered by Raila Muludinga. That Raila Muludinga stands and says that today we are going for a demonstration. And then the demonstration will take, we'll, we'll, do, we'll have it today on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then we have a rest on Saturday, Sunday, and then we go back on Monday again on the streets. How, what, what has always been the outcome of those, of those demonstrations? People have been losing their lives. A lot of businesses have been shut down. The demonstration that has been organized by Raila Molodinga and the Azimio. But I want us to take a look at this demonstration that the Gen Zs themselves organized through the internet. The mobilization was the way they organized themselves. That we'll, 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 put, we'll wear white, black, we'll meet at this place. This, this, is how we'll, this is how the routine will go. This is, how, this, this, this is how the movement shall go. This is how we shall move around the city. So are you seeing? So I, I was wondering. Niliona hawa ndugu zangu wanaazimiwa maongea leo. Nimeona tinga pale ambaye tunamwombea kazi. Mamwambia tinga kidogo, kwa na heshima. Kwa na heshima kidogo na asante. Sasa sisi tunalipa hii kodi ndio tukulipia kampeni ya African Union. Unakuja tena kutupigia kelele. Amesema polisi walitumia excessive force. Kama hawa waandamanaji ikiwa ni generation Z, ikiwa ni waandamanaji wa alifu waliharibu mali wangekutana na the force of the police kama wao andamanaji wangefanya maandamano bila kuharibu mali yote bila kuchokoza police hawange police hawange tumia vitu wa machozi ama kutumia nguvu so we want to ask our brothers in Azimio we know you in your sponsors ya hii protest can you stop the hypocrisy na nyinyi wenyewe mkuje mbele tukutane munduku mundu kwa sababu sisi wenye tuko wa serikali hii serikali tunatafuta 
na lazima muhimu hapa nataka niambie wa Kenya wote mahali paliko hii ndio mwaka ya tatu ukiona in the next one and half years sisi hapa ndio matunda ya wenda bruta itaanza kuonekana jana nataka nishukuru wabunge walipitisha mswada wa fedha wa mwaka huu iko mapato mazuri katika taifa This is not what I want us to discuss, to discuss. But before we jump into our discussion, I would like to appreciate those who are giving us your support. And I also like to give you a chance to go to the subscription area. Click the subscribe button. You can also like and tell me where you're watching us from. If you're within the country, you can tell me which country are you watching us from. And if you're outside the country, it's also good to tell me which country are you watching us from. And uh, a lot of, uh, I really appreciate those who are giving us support because, because without the support, this channel cannot grow and it cannot reach where it has reached. We are almost at 10,000. I was expecting maybe that we 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 get to 10,000 maybe the next month but uh, the rate at which we are growing I really appreciate thank you very much me god bless you because I know that at the end of the month we will be at 10,000 and now from next month we'll be doing things in a different way simply because of your support thank you very much me god bless you asante sana jumping back to our discussion I want us to this I want us to, I want to, I want to ask this question that where did we miss all this Like how did how did we come to miss all these things starting from uh, Jacob Juma and then we come to Uhuru Muge Kenyatta you know you know, we are, we are living let us not lie let us not okay we are living in uh, we are living with the people who, who are like time travelers truth be told and these people are like they're time travelers because i've been looking at the tweet that Jacob Juma was 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 tweeting back in 2016 2015 and now relating to what is happening right now and then listening also to what Uru Mugeke Jeta was saying when he was the president and now the things that are happening right now are they are the same i wanted to listen to this this message of Uru Mugeke Jeta before before we get now deep into the discussion on what Jacob Juma was tweeting before he was murdered the second big problem we have is our young people again let us not cheat ourselves it is our young people we have a youth bulge that if not properly handled can be a time bomb that can blow this country to pieces and the handling of that has to be done extremely carefully extremely carefully that is not a problem of this community or that it affects us all but how we manage it we must manage it very carefully we cannot manage it through inciting this uru mugay kenyatta the former president I want us now to get into this issue of Jacob Juma. Jacob Juma is no more. But there are some that there are some of the tweets that there are some of the things the things that he was writing before he died, before he was murdered and now they are coming to pass. Number one, there is a tweet that Jacob Juma wrote on in his on his uh, Twitter account that is back in 2015 on the 18th December. This is what Jacob Juma's tweet was saying this thing on uh, on 18th December 2015 at 22:31 pm this is what he was saying that fellow kenyans just imagine william william ruto being kenyan's president the country will burn he is arrogant abusive coercive and grabber that is jacob duma imagine this is a man that So this thing and he predicted he said that just, let us just imagine let let us imagine that William Samuel Ruto now is the president what will happen if the pres, if William Ruto becomes the president that was back in 2015 and then in 2016 the same same Jacob Juma Jacob Juma the same same Jacob Juma tweeted and said this that Kenyan youths should look at corruption as a national disaster that affects their quality of life directly forgot tribalism and fight it i repeat kenyan youths should look at corruption as a national disaster that affects their quality of life directly forgo forgo tribalism forgo tribalism and fight it what are kenyans doing right now what are kenyan especially youths doing right now they have decided, they have realized that there is a lot of uh, a lot of corruption in Kenya and tribalism and that is what 
they are they are fighting in as much as they're trying to, in as much as i told you yesterday that in as much as uh, the gen z's are trying to fight this issue of taxation or this issue of high cost of there is there is a message that they are trying to pass to us there is a message that they are trying to pass to our parents that you for, you you, ma you you measured too much you you considered too much on this issue of of religion and tribalism and that is one of the major things that that affected you and right now that is what we are, we are trying to do away with we, we don't want to talk about this issue we don't want to major into this issue of tribalism because right now the, our main focus is on the unity of kenya and i said yesterday in one of the videos and, and that video i think i've wrote, really brought a lot of a lot of attention if you've not watched it, you can watch it i said yesterday that for a revolution to happen in a country for a revolution to happen in a country all a revolution will only happen in a county whereby people are united it is only through unity that revolution can happen but once people are not united once people have not come together to speak one language then there will be there will be no because everybody will be concentrating on their tribe everybody will be concentrating on what their national on their what their political leader said if it's if it is luo luos luos will only concentrate on what raila molodinga said if it is kikuyu they will only concentrate on either what Kik, what gashagwa said or uru kenyatta if the, if it is kalenjin they will only concentrate on what william ruto have said if it is lawyers they will only concentrate on what either natembe have said or uh, musale mudavadi or wetangula or, or wetangula have said but if the people decide now that they want they want revolution they want they, they want to unite they want to unite themselves there is no one that will stand for them there will there is no one that will stand for them to speak on their behalf and i said this that right now it will be very difficult for a gov for the government to call for the, to to call for uh, to, to call off this demonstration why because there is no one that the gen z's have have, have, have have said that you will be our spokesman they are speaking the same language no, it is not bonfire that is speaking for for the gen z's it is not eric omondi that is speaking for the gen z's i want what happened on thursday eric omondi was not was not in the, at the demonstration sites eric omondi did not come out during the demonstrations what happened the demonstrations happened yes, as as normal as usual eric omondi came out yesterday so you can't tell me that people are that eric omondi was is, is the one that is mobilizing is mobilizing people you can't tell us that bonfire is the one that is mobilizing people what is mobilizing people is the unity that now they have the unity that the gen z's has that is what now, that is what now is bringing change and I, i'm very happy that even the members of parliament that uh, from, from 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 the azimio or some members of parliament now realizes that the gen z's are very much important <laughs> Now, Jacob Juma before he died, he talked up, he asked this question that just imagine Kenya having William Ruto, that is back in 2015, that having William Samoei Ruto leading as the president of the Republic of Kenya. This man is corrupt. What will happen? Like what and, and now what is really happening? William Ruto is the president. That was back in 2015. Right now we are in 2024. William Ruto is the president. The man that tweeted that died was murdered. That is Jacob Juma. Jacob Juma was murdered. And before he was murdered there is something that he said. He was talking he said something concerning concerning the the opposition. And he said that I am contemplating of starting an a tsunami that will reunite the history of this nation. The opposition is too weak for my current mindset. Are you seeing? So it it tells us that this man this, this man had seen something. This man was not was okay I, I think this is one of one of the major reasons that this man was killed by the way because things the things that he was saying no one could imagine like he's saying that my mindset the, 
the, the, the opposition is failing me and I cannot, I, my mindset, what I'm thinking is different from what they are thinking. And he goes ahead and says that uh, we must restore power back to the people. People must take charge of their lives. It is only possible through a revolution that is purposeful. <laughs> it is only, it will only, listen, listen to this, listen to this. We must restore power back to the people. People must take charge of their lives and it is only possible through a revolution that is pur purposeful. A revolution that is purposeful. The Gen Zs have realized that the only, the only thing that will be purposeful, the only thing that will be, the, the only revolution that will, ha will help if a purposeful revolution and the purposeful revolution is reject finance bill. Everywhere, right now, everywhere is reject. You have to reject. Reject the finance bill. You know, I really don't understand. I really don't understand how such kind of mindsets just vanish like that. That, that, that just, that, that the government just does away with them. That, that, that just end up being killed. Because this, this is someone that had seen a lot. This is someone that was speaking beyond, you know, and he's even confessing that his mindset, you know, the mindset that he has. And I've started by asking that we really don't know where we messed up. We really don't know. We, we, really, we, really, we really don't know where. I really don't know. I really don't understand where we missed this point. Because if Jacob Juma told us, the late, the late Jacob Juma told us these things, and right now they're happening, but he's not around. Uru Mugai Kenyatta told us these things. We assumed, maybe we were, talking, we were saying that he ain't him Levi, and we assumed all these things. But right now, they're happening to us. This, as I wind up, that if Rigathe Gashagwa really wants, if Rigathe Gashagwa really wants people to listen to him, most of the Gen Zs, he must take a stand and say what, he, what he's thinking concerning the, the financial bill. Because say okay, I, I know he's saying it. He's saying it in the, he's, he's saying that uh, he's, he's opposing the financial bill indirectly by saying this. You know, if Rigathi Gashagwa can say that uh, charity begins at home, even Jesus started started in Jerusalem before moving to Judea. I cannot help President Ruto to unite Kenya if I cannot unite my home. By uniting your home, you have to reject the financial bill because th right now that is the only language that everybody in Kenya wants to listen to. And that is why they've, they've, they're even going ahead and warning churches that they should not host any politician. And I've seen tomorrow William Samoy Ruto together with Rigathi Gashagwa going to Nyahururu. Been given that mandate now. There are, people are telling the, the, the people, the, the Nyahururu residents, the Gen Zs that, that are in Nyahururu, that there will be transport, there will be lunch. Those who want to go to church tomorrow, they have to they have, they make sure they have to attend. They have to, they have to, to put on the way they want and... If they, are, they, if they are told to get out of that, they should get out of that and stand at the door. So in short, there is no politician that is allowed to go to any church as far as the financial bill rejection is concerned. And they, they're even questioning why some churches are quiet. Uh, they are questioning why churches are really silent, why churches are not speaking about this issue of financial bill. That is not the point. My point is, where did we miss all these things? And this man called Chiringi, I really don't understand this, what is wrong with these guys. I don't know what you think concerning this issue of this. I don't know what you think concerning this issue of Jacob Juma. But are we really living with the people who are time travelers? Because how comes this man saw all these things? And we assumed thinking that maybe it was just a normal tweet. How? Can you tell me what you think at the comment section? And please don't forget to click the subscribe button. And until you meet again, I've been your host, Bonfeso. You know, bye bye.